Young. Near side to Chiana. Back for Young. One timer. He scores! A power play goal! What a rocket! Yeah, that was a real rocket right there. And Crawford did not see that at all. There was a screen in front of the net by the Blues. I believe it was Chianic that was standing in front of the net. And this puck just rocketed right into the net, but here's a little give and go, and it, right into the top corner, as Chianic came out, look at that, there's the screen in front, and that was Glumak out there. Now, I don't know, Glumak may have touched that even. We'll have to look at that again. Now they now, give it to Young. Man, Glumak came close to uh, touching that, John. I, I don't want to. Oh. He goes left point to Weinrich. Weinrich, a drive, rebound, the score! Orr's on, and it's 2-0! Uh, right now, maybe this is just exactly what the doctor ordered. The Blues have not won the second game of back-to-back -back games yet this year, 0-10 and 2 in that second game. And here's the slap shot from the point. No one picked up Orzog. I believe he deflected it first, and then he was able to get his own rebound. But here's the shot right there. Crawford did not control the rebound. There wasn't much room for uh, Orzog, but he was able to just dash it in there. The Blues with a 2 nothing lead. Looks like the Hawks. Well, the Blues, a great start in the second period. Chianic right off the faceoff scores. A beautiful backhander, and it's 3 nothing. Yeah, 10 seconds in. Look at this nice pass, and then the far side. You can see right there from the angle, Crawford really missed his angle as he really got sliding way too far, and it's always very difficult, especially on a backhander, so the Blues. Put in, and Chianic back for Young. Here's Young, wrist shot. Rebound, the score! since being recalled from Peoria. In fact, that's really his fourth goal if you want to count the shootout, but you see Lee Stemniak parked right in the middle of the slot area, the shot from the point. There he is, number 12. He knocked it down and was able to, I think, even bat that right out of midair. Here's the shot from Scott Young. Look at this shot right there underneath that right pad of Crawford. The Blues regain their goals are deep for Stemniak. Good hit in there. Now back on the line, a shot by Walker, comes in front, the score, Stepniak! Is he hot again? And the Blues lead five to three. Just follow the bouncing puck, and that's exactly what Lee Stepniak did, made the play to the point, and it went hard to the net, the puck was bouncing, and he was able to just chip it in, but look, there he is going to the front, look at how that puck is bouncing, he was able to get it in there, and you can see from the overhead, there's no way that the goaltender can let a goalie go from there. I mean, he tried to move his arm, and it actually went right through his arm. Here comes Bork, the first shooter. And a save by Sanford. Right to go five hole, and Sanford read it perfectly. Bork with a lot of speed right down the middle, and then tried to go right there on the ice, but Pads were closed and the stick was on the ice. Big save for Sanford. And McClement will shoot. Well, we've seen him score one penalty shot low to the stick side and high to the glove side, John. Maybe he'll try five hole this time. Talk about pressure on the kid here in his first NHL game. McClement against Crawford, and he scores off the goal post. McClement gives the Blues a 1 0 lead. Well, that's where he scored against Happy Bull, as we showed you before. He comes in from the angle, and perfect shot right underneath the blocker over that right pad of Crawford. Radham Verbata will shoot for Chicago. He's one of three. And now the referee comes over to the penalty box area. I don't know what possibly could be the problem here. I don't know why they checked to see if it was a goal. Would it hit both posts? Now it was clearly in. Yeah. 
Here's Verbata. Hawks down one nothing in the shootout. Verbata walks in, and a backhander, and he scores to tie it at one. That's a textbook deke right there by Verbata. Coming in with good speed, he made a good move right there and then got it up over the right pad of, St of Sanford. So we're tied at one, and Whiteman gets the second shot. So I got to believe that Stemniak's going to be the third shooter, John. Or Kitschuk. Or they may not even need another shooter if, if he scores or the Hawks don't. Exactly. Whiteman's got great moves, too. I like the way he goes in. Here he comes. Dennis Weidman fakes it in. He got knocked down by the goaltender. He had a wide open net and was tripped up. Well, he got in a little too close for, to Crawford as he made that move. And here it is again. Actually, <laughs> he just lost his balance and then fell over the goalie, but he made that great late kick move and didn't score, it's still 1-1. Holmquist is two for two. The Hawks' third shooter. Holmquist walks in, and a save by Sanford. It hit the goalpost, off his pad. Well, right there, Holmquist tried to go back to his forehand and then just try to squeeze it by, but no room there, and that buck almost went across the line. But it didn't, so for the second time in a row here at Savas, Demiak gets to try to win it with the last shot. He did it the other night. So the shootout is tied at once. Demiak to win it. Can he do it? Yes! Right through the legs, and he's the hero again. Two goals in regulation, and the shootout winner. Well, he got two goals when you can shoot the shootout win on Monday night. Well, tonight he gets three, and Lee Stemniak is our Bud Light player of the game. What a night for Stemniak again, as the Blues score on their final shot to win this one in the shootout. Five hole right there along the ice into the net, and here's another angle here. The Blues with a big victory right there, right between the, the legs. And right from the goal cam, there it is, folks. The Blues with a big, big win as there's the reaction from the bench. And the Blues.